Now we need to extract the caffeine from the solution. For this, we need a separating funnel like the one shown here. Make sure the tap at the bottom is closed and pour in your aqueous caffeine extract. Now add 20 cubic centimetres of ethyl ethanoate, ethyl acetate. You can see that this forms a separate layer on top of the water. Now put the lid on the funnel and shake or swirl the contents gently. You may need to remove the lid occasionally to prevent pressure buildup. It is important not to shake too vigorously or you risk forming an emulsion which will stop the layers from separating out again. Once the layers are fully mixed, place the funnel back on the stand and leave it for the layers to settle out. This should be quite a rapid process, in this case you can see it only took about 10 seconds. Remove the lid, or the vacuum will prevent anything coming out, and turn the tap to run the bottom layer into a beaker underneath. When the interface between the liquids is near the tap, the narrowing of the funnel means the level drops more rapidly so you need to take care. It is possible though to manage to separate the two layers exactly. Make sure you know which layer it is that you need. In this case, we need to keep the top ethyl ethanoate layer. This has the caffeine in. However, it's important not to simply dispose of your aqueous layer. Once you've removed the aqueous layer at the bottom, transfer the ethyl ethanoate layer to a second beaker and place to one side. Now you put the aqueous layer that you kept back into the funnel, remembering to close the tap first. Add a second portion of ethyl ethanoate and repeat the extraction, adding your second portion of the ethyl ethanoate extraction to the first. Now add 8 grams of anhydrous sodium sulphate to your combined solutions. This will remove any traces of water that were mixed into the ethyl ethanoate. You will notice that the sodium sulphate clumps together in a mass at the bottom. Decant the now dry ethyl ethanoate solution into an evaporating basin or crystallising dish and place somewhere warm for the solvent to evaporate. 